Well, in this tutorial, I want you to pay more attention than in the others. You can see here an orbit view of a coordinate system that this this is one this one is the normal one okay you have here the x axis and the y axis and the z one here okay usually we are working in this area okay but if you look this plane z and y by this axis you look from here to here you will see this okay so this is the side view of the of this coordinate system okay I go again to the orbit view to know that this is rotated this is a rotation and you are looking from this point of view okay so let's reset the view and then oops well here we have the result of the tutorial what I want to have and let's see first what I, we are going to to build okay okay you here can see on this part two fictitious bonds that are linked to this master one okay and then if you rotate the master bone these other two bones rotate okay through the X axis that is pointing to you okay it rotates and now let's see the front view that is the, the, the area that we are going to work to obtain the same movements but looking from the Z axis okay you can see here then you have the same movement from these two balls from these two ones this is due to we have here this is spring mechanism I'm going to remove the strength of this bone because this is the forming the balls okay well how to achieve this movement of these two balls with this movement of the master bone let's do it I am going to select the same layer but without the springy bones okay then uh, I'm going to use in this case a springy bones repository same layer but without the springy bones okay then uh, I'm going to use in this case a springy bones repository that I have prepared okay I have one two three and four springy bones waiting here to be copied to this uh, layer 
because of I want to save time when I build the three-dimensional rig okay so there is another thing that I want to explain to you before I start to build the springing mechanism I have here uh, another layer that is helping to know what are the coordinates of the bolts but in the third y plane production in the side view okay you can see here that these and these are the coordinates of this ball and these and these are the coordinates of this ball so it is not necessary that both balls or points are in the same position they are in different angles and also the distance from the point to the axis x axis is different in this case than in this case okay so let's copy the first bone springy mechanism to try to build this movement okay in this uh, top front view so I'm going to select bones. Okay. Then go to the script. Bones. Copy bones. And then I the the default uh, options are correct. Uh, okay. Okay, the selected bonds only, the so this is these three, and rename the naming bonds and rename the naming parent bonds. This is important because if not, you don't have the the link between the bonds. Okay, and now go to the layer that I want to have the bonds and paste. Okay, <coughs> then. These bones are not prepared to move in this direction. Okay, so we need to rotate it. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. Okay, so now it's, rep it's prepared to do that. I'm going to check the grid because I want to put these bones, these springy mechanisms, here ok but first I'm going to select all the bones select here and constrain to the master 